It's not called Hillcrest for nothing. <laughs> the green space here allows all of the homes in this area to be between 8 to 12 degrees cooler than downtown. I think I need to live here <laughs> because I'm always hot, so that's great. <laughs> what year was this home built? This home was built in 1937. It's a quaint house. I mean, it's not going to take you long to get through, and I'm going to meet you in the backyard. Great, because that yellow door is calling me. I need to see what's behind it. Christine! <laughs> it was. There you go. <laughs> It's a cheery way to enter into this house. You can definitely tell this has been updated. Right, but you know, as soon as we walked in, I noticed that the steps, I think, are original. But I think the floors, I'm a little confused because they do fit that 1939 time period. Yes. But I can't tell if they're original, if they're not. It's hard to tell. So they really embraced the era. Well, but they sure did wonders by opening up this space. Right, because originally, this would have been a galley kitchen, which yeah. would have been really tight. Really tight. But by opening it, they could put in this nice island yeah. with the waterfall countertop. And what I'm seeing that you're not seeing is the side yard is gorgeous. And there's a hardscape in the back. Oh my gosh, what a great patio area. Did you notice three exterior doors? I did. You know, we could play, let's make a deal. Tina, you're going to take door number one, door number two, or door number three. Well, I want to check out door number four because I don't know if it's a pantry or if it goes to a basement. Ah, it's a basement. Basement. Come on. Let's hit it. Oh, oh nice my. space. Yeah, this is. I like these floors, these tile floors. And it's perfect for a basement, the ceramic floors. And look what we have here. Wow, nice bathroom. Oh, this is a big bathroom. Yeah, nicely done. I just realized that there wasn't a bathroom upstairs, a half bath or anything. Where would you put it? That's a good point. Two so floors down, one Let's to go, go check out the upstairs. All right, so here's the bathroom, newly renovated. Not huge, but it's a, it's a good sized bathroom. Doesn't have the finishes that downstairs did. Well, this must be bedroom number one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being a corner lot, obviously windows, it's the Lots light. Lots of sun. OK, well, that's a good size. Mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you what's not a great size. Take a look at this room, bedroom number two. It's a little small. Just, just a little. <laughs> I think that is. So you could put a crib in here. You could. It's a nice baby's room. And I don't know if you could squeeze a twin or not. It does have a closet. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. It's, obviously, it was the original access to the attic. You would still use those to get up to the attic, Oh, that's right? true. I didn't even think about that. I was just looking at how many shirts you could actually hang. But, you know. That's a 1930s pot, uh, attic is. access. Got a there. nice window, though. Yeah. All right, so this would be the third bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I think it's actually the largest. I think you're right. All right. I'll call this two and a half bedroom. OK, kind of. Oh. Finally out in the backyard. Oh, hey, no. Rob. Well, the house tour was great, but this is my speed out here. This is beautiful. I know. Isn't this a nice retreat? Oh, yeah. it is. 800 extra square feet. But this isn't just the only great you know, part of this house. There are so many interesting features. I love the finishes. I love how they you know, took the walls down and opened it up. What I appreciate is that it is move-in ready. Mm -hmm. Having renovated and currently renovating with paint stuck under my nails, I appreciate just being able to walk into a place, and all you have to do is bring yourself and the furniture. That is, that is <laughs> And have all. a friend help you move. <laughs> I'm busy that weekend. But I do have one question. Sure. This has been bugging me, the flooring. Yes. OK, is it original? Is it not? It's a hodgepodge. So it's a little mix of old and new, then. It really is. It's probably 60% original, 40% new. OK, now I don't feel so bad trying to figure it out. And that's the story <laughs> of this house, little old, little new, right? Store at Washington, D.C. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a beautiful federal style home, just renovated, an open floor plan in the Hillcrest area. Yes. We have three bedrooms, mm -hmm. we have two baths, we have three levels. What do you think this house is listed for? Okay, I'm gonna jump right in there. Okay. Because I, I, I'm feeling this place, I feel good. I might not feel so good after I hear the final listing price, but I'm going to jump in at $525,000. $525,000. That's yep. exactly what I was going to say. No. You were so much alike. You are. We're, we're best friends. You are. Alike. Yeah. You have that okay, Vulcan so, mind yeah, meld going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to go for $550,000. $550,000. I'm going to push up. all the chips in. I'm going to. OK. Going up. Okay. All right. Well, the actual <laughs> listing price mm -hmm. of this home 
is five hundred and thirty nine dollars. <laughs> oh, it's too bad you went higher. It's too bad you took my yeah. price. Oh, That's right. That yeah. Too.